Hi, I'm Plummy, and in this episode of Ray the K, or should I say Ray the J in this case, I'm gonna be reacting to Dreamcatcher's Eclipse, which is a song that I did for an anime opening, but I'm not sure whether it was for an anime in Japanese or in Korean. I, I'd assume it was in Japanese, but whatever. Um, and this was actually released quite a while ago. Um, at, le at least the song was released quite a while ago and I actually didn't do a reaction to it but I listened to it and it was really cool and what every single Dreamcatcher fan had been wanting for a long time. Uh, but now they've released a full-length version of the opening theme so I decided to check uh, that music video out. So without further ado, let's get into that music video in 3, 2, 1. This is exactly what all of us uh, imagined a uh, Dreamcatcher anime opening to be. It's a pretty good opening. It kind of makes me want to watch this anime. Okay, it's definitely in Japanese. Oh my god, this song, I love this song. It's one of my favorite Dreamcatcher songs, genuinely. It's so damn good. Like, if it, even if this wasn't like an anime opening, it would still be like a 10 out of 10. Yeah, this part of the song I actually haven't heard. Okay, so far it's holding up, because a lot of the time when you hear an extended version of an already existing song, it doesn't always manage to live up to what you expected it, it would be. But no, it's still going great. I love this song so much. I genuinely want to check out this freaking anime. Should I do it? Like, if any of you are watching this video who have seen this anime, should I watch it? I'm super happy that the rapping lines are living up to the rest of the song because Sometimes rapping might feel forced, even in some Dreamcatcher songs, because I feel like Oda is rapping, uh, the rapping in Oda clashes a little bit with the rest of the song, but in this one it's perfectly fine. I mean, should I listen to it one more time? I love this song, but I feel like I'm just gonna be just listening it for myself, not really as for a reaction. But yeah, um, I, I, I love this even more than the shorter version. It feels even more impactful, which is something I was worried that it wasn't going to, because as I said, frequently when you hear a different version of an already existing song that you've loved, it almost never en ends up being as good as the original version that you've heard. But in this case, it's somehow even better. I mean, like, it's Dreamcatcher. More Dreamcatcher is always better, but it genuinely feels 
like it adds to the song i guess because we do add quite a lot in terms of like the, there's more uh verses more rapping which i don't think there was any actually or at least i can't think of uh the song having any rapping i don't remember it having any rapping in the shorter version and we have a more uh noticeable addition of uh, some vocals by gaon and again the rapping by dami so there is a lot that is added with the extended version, but I still did not expect that it was going to be this good. Because before, I really, really, really liked uh, this song, but because it was short, I would probably give it like a 9 out of 10. But now with this, it's an easy 10 out of 10. It's so damn good. It's genuinely my favorite Dreamcatcher song in Japanese, and I don't remember whether they have any other ones in Japanese, so maybe there's another one that I really like, but... Right now I can't think of any, so I'm gonna say this is my favorite uh, Japanese song by Dreamcatcher. Although, they have another one, what am I talking about? There was that, uh, uh, what was the song? Uh, give me a second. Dreamcatcher Japanese. Um, what was, th it was a really cool song that I really liked. It was Breaking Out, I love that song. That, that one is a really good one, but uh, I think this one might be better because Breaking Out is such a good song and so much better than I expected it to be um, But now I would put it probably at like a 9 to a 9.7 out of 10 This one is a solid 10 out of 10 in my opinion And the only reason why I'm not saying that it's over a 10 out of 10 is because obviously I've already heard it many many times uh, when it comes to at least like the first minute and a half But yeah, I really like this a lot. So I'll definitely be listening to the full full version now over the shorter one But yeah um, But before we end this video, I just want to quickly explain to you something that you might you might be wondering about like Why am I dressed the way I am? Why do I look the way I do and if you've been subscribed to my channel for a long time, you would know the answer already because back when I started my YouTube channel, I had super long hair and I was dressing femininely in every single video. But for those of you who don't know, which I assume it's most of you, I'm actually transgender. I think I'm more of a non-binary rather than a male to female because there are quite a few times where I don't really feel like dressing femininely and looking feminine and looking like a girl and I just want to look like a normal guy but I feel like in a lot of the time I do want to look feminine so for the sake of simplicity I decided to just settle on non-binary although I definitely really want to be much more feminine than I am right now like almost like an androgynous but due to my current situation I'm unable to transition because uh, I still live with my parents I tried to transition secretly while still living with my parents, but they started noticing uh, that I was looking more feminine and that I uh, obviously had my long hair back then and they were pressuring me to cut it all the time and even when I was growing it out, they were constantly pressuring me to not grow it out and now they are pressuring me to not grow it out again. Um, I'm un really unable to transition and there's no really way out out of this situation for me because I can't get a job uh, I've tried to but I just can't seem to get any job and even if I was able to get a job uh, I wouldn't really be able to transition in my country where I live uh, while working that job because uh, people here are completely bigoted and they uh, will harass me they will bully me and they probably uh, the uh, the Employers will probably never even hire me if I actually decided to completely transition so uh, The only way for me to actually be who I am who I truly am is if I actually start being successful of YouTube and start making money off of YouTube because I don't really have to care about what anybody thinks of me and um, I can just be who I want to be and dress however I want and all those stuff so with all this information and me telling you that I don't want to guilt trip you into helping me out I don't want to make you feel bad about my situation and um, Wanting to manipulate you into helping me out or boosting the subscribers on my channel or anything like that um, 
I ask you if you're able to uh, help me out by donating to my Patreon or donating to my PayPal, which is some for that you will have to get in touch with me in the comments down below to set it up properly because I haven't really done that because I assume nobody's really gonna want to do that. But if you're able to do that, I would really appreciate it. But again, this is literally the only way for me out. This is the only way out. So, yeah, it's completely up to you. Um, if you can't help me out monetarily, then at the very least, I would. Uh, I think it would be great if you could help out in other ways. Like I said earlier, liking the channel, uh, liking the video, subscribing to the channel, and all, all those other stuff. Yeah, I'm not trying to guilt trip you. I'm just explaining to you my situation and hoping that you can help me out. But yeah. Hope you guys enjoyed this video, and if you did, uh, leave a like, subscribe, also check out the description to my Twitter if you want to follow me there, and to my Wattpad where I post my stories, because in addition to doing all these videos on my channel, I'm also a writer. And if you don't enjoy my stories, or you simply enjoy my videos, you can head over to Patreon where you can pledge support and help get the channel going, help support me so I can keep writing stories you enjoy. But if you don't want to do it, that's completely fine. You can still help me out in other ways like liking this video, subscribing, and especially sharing this video with someone who you think might enjoy it. And I think it's pretty much it for this video, so hopefully I'm going to see you in the next one. Bye!